Hey, what's up guys? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, uh, we all know that it all feels the same these days throughout this quarantine. Speaking of quarantine, today I'm gonna do a video pretty much detailing what my quarantine experience has been. This is actually for a final project in my digital media class, instructed by Professor John Hart at CSUB. He's helped me out a lot with digital media, video production, and really, you know, a lot of the skills that I apply to this YouTube channel. So, should be good. Wish me luck in getting a good grade. To my subscribers, I'm gonna show you guys what my day-to-day -day experience is like, family life, different things like that while I'm staying at home, staying safe. I hope you guys are enjoying quarantine. Uh, nobody enjoys it, it's honestly tough, but I hope you guys are making the most of it. That's a better way to put it. Make the most of this time at home. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing. Hope you enjoy what my life's been like. Okay guys, so pretty much how this is gonna work, I'm gonna break down into four components, uh, the four different ways that I've been spending most of my time throughout this whole stay at home order, throughout the quarantine. Uh, the primary thing that has been on my mind while I have all the time to do it is YouTube. I do it for you guys, do it for my subscribers. Um, all 170 of you, we need to get that up. I'm just playing, but um, I've been spending time, I've been using this notebook right here, jotting down ideas for videos, um, different ideas for what I want to do with the channel. It used to be my biology notebook. Um, we don't need it for biology anymore. But yeah, it's solely dedicated to YouTube now. So I've been jotting down video ideas. I also redid my room like completely. Uh, I moved my TV across to the other corner. Um, I got this whole kind of, what is it? It's like a big old lamp. I'll just show you guys. It's this big old lamp that I put in my room. Um, I got taped lines down. I got a tripod. I bought this tripod off of my little sister, Brooklyn. Uh, she told me that it was, what, 80 bucks she got it for, so I gave her 80 bucks. It was actually 20. I got scammed by a 12 year old, but whatever, it happens. So I got this tripod. It's actually a tripod meant for a camera, but I just took a little phone tripod and I wrapped it around it. As you can see, I taped down lines for the exact angles where, you know, I feel like it looks best. Um, I've got a stool in here. You know, I got the light. Everything's just, you know, working to improve the quality of the videos. I'm looking toward getting some pictures to hang up back there um, just to make your guys' view better. If it isn't great already, I think it is. Um, but anyways, yeah, I've been dedicating a lot of time to YouTube. Also, I've been spending time doing YouTube videos for my little sister. I've been editing her videos. She's got a channel for herself. She's nine. Uh, she's been redecorating this dollhouse mansion that my grandma made her. Um, it's been great, honestly. I've been having a lot of fun bonding with her, filming and editing her videos. I'm filming and editing videos for my mom since she is a teacher. She needs to get content out to her kids. So it's been great dedicating a lot of my time to YouTube ideas, getting videos out there, and redecorating my room. I've had a lot of fun. Oh, and real quick, while we're on the subject of YouTube, Let's see what my little sister Aniston had to say when I asked her about her channel when we were over at my grandma's house. All right, so here we are having lunch at grandma and grandpa's house. Let's go on over to my sister's room, see what she's got going on. The A's for Aniston. There she is, what's up Aniston? Hey. Check out this dollhouse mansion she's got going on. Aniston, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Tell us about the YouTube stuff we've been doing. Go ahead. Well, this is my dollhouse that I got for my ninth birthday that my grandma and my grandpa made me. And what my brother Tyler and I love to do is we love to do YouTube videos on these. And I just love to play with dolls. They have a whole picnic set and they have a juice bar and a whole bunch of pet grooming stuff. And I just love dolls so much and I love to play with them in there. <laughs> you love your mansion, huh? Look at that. Yeah. That's so crazy. So... Uh, why don't you tell everybody to subscribe to your channel? Yes, please subscribe to my channel. It's called A Sweet Life. For sure. Look at this house. It is just crazy. So she's been spending quarantine over here at Grandma's sometimes, playing with her dolls in this huge mansion. Thank you so much, Aniston. Anything else you want to say? Peace. <laughs> and stay safe. Stay home. All right. The second component of my quarantine experience that's been taking up a lot of my time is, of course, family time. Family time's important. 
quarantine, I'm sure, has given us all the opportunity to spend more time with whoever's in your household, your mom, dad, siblings, grandma, grandpa. Um, we're all inside together. It's who you got to spend your time with. I've been doing some great stuff, you know, spending a lot of time having fun with my siblings, for sure. They all drive me crazy. Um, you know, someone who's been really holding it down throughout this whole process is my mom. Let's go see what she's doing right now. All right, mom, how we doing? Um, just tell us a little bit about what this quarantine's been like as a mom, as a teacher. I actually try to make my day-to-day -day, um, exactly what it would be like for school for the kids because I just honestly feel like... Um, with structure, it makes the day go by quicker. And it also gives me my time to do my work that I need to for school. Um, I am also a teacher. So I do have my Zoom videos. I have things that I need to post for my kids. Um, so I let my children do a little bit of independent work here at the house so I can get some of my work done also. Guys, listen to how incredibly detailed this is. She has it minute to minute for my sister and my stepbrothers. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we still wake up at 7.30 every day. I make sure that their teeth brush, they're dressed, they're ready for their day, just as if we were going to school. Um, by 8, 8.30, um, we do start work. And independently, they jump right on Google Classroom, which is, I mean, a huge help. All the teachers have that all structured and put together. Um, they get on there and they start their work and I help them as need be, but they seem to be doing well and adjusting well. I think they miss their friends the most. And what would you say you do to, you know, in your free time, whenever you're not all structured on all this detailed schoolwork stuff, what would you say you do for fun if there is any fun? Well, when the day goes by and when 2.30 hits, the children are usually done. Um, I send them outside. We do also have two recesses throughout the day. Um, I send them outside and they play while well, I just kind of wind down a little bit, take a minute to breathe, not think about my work, not think about their work. And then honestly, I just start preparing for the next day. <laughs> I don't know. I see you on, you know, MTV or HBO watching some shows. What have you been watching? Oh, gosh. All the reality shows. And I was explaining <clears throat> yesterday that um, the reason I've been watching these reality shows is it makes my life not look so bad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mom. We appreciate what you do around here. Get back to work. We'll see you later. Okay, thank you. So as you can see, my mom and the kids stay pretty busy with their schoolwork. They're all structured. Um, I've just been chilling for the most part. I'm gonna tell you guys more about what I've been doing But after the kids are done with their schoolwork, I've really enjoyed the family time We've been able to spend going swimming playing sports things like that So family time has been the best part about this quarantine. No doubt All right, and a third way that I've been spending a lot of my time here during this quarantine is trying to stay in shape Honestly, I've been getting lots of exercise. I wouldn't say I've gotten in any like better shape or peak shape uh, but I've been just trying to maintain weight pretty much because I've been eating so much. I'm sure we all have while we're at home. We got tons of snacks in the pantry. I just had like three bowls of cinnamon toast crunch today. So I wouldn't say I'm, you know, getting into any kind of crazy chiseled shape. But um, I've been finding a lot of joy in going on walks. I'll go on walks like late at night. I like looking at the stars, looking at the moon. Um, listening to music. It's really peaceful, especially my neighborhood. I really like my neighborhood. Um, it's just really good views, honestly. The weather's been nice, not too hot, not too cold. Um, I've been finding a lot of joy in going swimming with my siblings. We'll swim laps, tread water, just little things here and there to try to get some exercise. Um, I'll also go on bike rides. I've had a couple buddies over, you know, bringing their bikes and we'll go on bike rides around my neighborhood. We went like miles and we were looking at houses at 10 o'clock at night, I think, something like that. And because it was just so nice outside, we we're listening to music, we were vibing, uh, just checking out houses, talking about, you know, the kinds of mansions we want when we're older, things like that. So I really enjoy riding my bike throughout this quarantine. I've also been trying to go on runs and definitely my greatest passion of them all would be playing basketball. It's one of my, it's my favorite sport to play for sure. Um, since there aren't any sports to watch right now, I've been really finding joy in playing basketball every day. Not with anybody, of course. Uh, we can't do that while we're on quarantine. But I've been shooting around, trying to polish my skills, uh, putting on the ankle weights, trying to get a little bit of a workout, a little bit of a sweat in. So 
Um, it's been great trying to get exercise. I'm gonna show you guys a couple clips of what I've been doing to try to maintain shape since you know we're consuming all these calories. Okay guys, and finally, the fourth way that I've been spending my time trying to make light of this quarantine, uh, coronavirus pandemic situation has been celebrating. Celebrating, you might ask. How in the world are you celebrating all this madness that's going on on Earth? Um, really, I've been trying to soak up every day, enjoying experiences like a quarantine birthday that we had here in my household, uh, my little sister turned nine at the end of March. Uh, we had the news out, checking out, you know, the drive-by birthday situation. I love seeing videos of people honking and, you know, decorating their cars, doing drive-by quarantine, birthday celebrations. We also had Mother's Day recently, beautiful day. Uh, we had Easter, all throughout this quarantine process. So I'm going to show you guys a couple clips, pictures make a little montage of how I've been celebrating these holidays and celebrating life with family and good people. We got my sister's birthday, Easter, Mother's Day, tons of great times to be with your family, honestly. Um, so check it out. Hope you guys enjoy my most important lesson throughout this quarantine process, which is to celebrate holidays with your family. sleepover party, but then the coronavirus hit. With her family practicing social distancing, they had to get a little creative and celebrate, so they held a surprise birthday drive-by. 
friends and family decorating their cars, making signs and cards, and drove by her house signs, talking and waiting and cards. to show her their love. Oh, and I look at see. some presents, too. Yes. And look at that. Oh. Messages. That is definitely going to be a memorable birthday. So yes. I think they accomplished their task. All right. Happy birthday <laughs> to you, yes, Madison. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Let's bet with this camera. That's the news for now. We want to thank you for <laughs>